It was August last summer when we brought Mark Cornell's story to you. Cornell is a local Angelino, a former boxer who at the time was living with kidney failure. We put the word out in hopes of finding a kidney donor for him. At the very least, we just hope to raise awareness. That we did, and today Mark is a changed man. I fight for my life every day. If there's one thing Mark Cornell is used to, it's fighting. Good job. Faster. Three jabs. But these days, the former amateur boxer is facing his toughest opponent. The doctor said I wouldn't make it this far, so I'm just happy that I'm, I'm here. Coronel was diagnosed with a rare kidney disease called FSGS almost a decade ago. Jab, jab. By the time we met him in the summer of 2019 at this gym in Los Angeles, he was living in kidney failure, still working out, defying the odds in more ways than one. He was told he'd never make it to his mid-30s, and this day was his 34th birthday. What's your birthday wish? To be healthier. They say a healthy person has a thousand wishes, a sick person has one, and that's mine. Cornell's lifeline became this machine and more than a dozen pills a day. In between his hours and hours of dialysis, he searched for a donor for years. His sister put the word out on Facebook and we shared his story here on Fox 11. It helped raise awareness. In fact, he's forever grateful to some of you, our viewers, who tried to help. When 32 people step forward, you have so much hope and one by one it was denied. Um, it's very emotional. The toll this emotional roller coaster takes, evident in Cornell's fiance, Cindy Ackman. We get excited and then they don't end up getting approved. This is the letter that really changed your life. Mm hmm. This is it. In November, the news Cornell had been waiting for. UCLA Medical Center informing him his surgery date was set for December 10th, 2019. This is the day before. Not that many people get a second chance at life, and, and I'm here doing it. Today is my last dialysis treatment. Turns out that second chance was found in someone who had been there really all along. Shauna Robinson is a longtime friend of Coronel's sister. It was something that felt right and that I wanted to do and was determined to do. But her journey wasn't as easy as it sounds. Early on, Robinson got tested, learned she was a match, but was denied because she was anemic. Only after getting iron infusions was she approved. The whole process took about a year, but she says it was worth it. Um, I was able to get tested again, and that's when they told me that I was a match at his second facility, and I was incredibly excited. So we're here at Ronald Reagan Medical Group, um, and it's time for a kidney transplant. The transplant surgery lasted about four hours, and less than 12 hours after that, well, first of all, this fighter already eager to get back in the ring. About to get back into the gym. And just recently, we were also reunited with Coronel. How you doing? <laughs> How am I doing? You're the one with the brand new kidney. I am so amazing. You got color back. I did. The before and after is remarkable, as is his newfound zest for life. Oh, I'm just so happy. Like, yeah. this is it. This is, this is me right now. This is the day that I look forward to. It's literally a life changer. It's amazing. And there's so many different ways to donate. When it comes to how Coronel feels about his donor, well, actions speak louder than words. Shana, how does that feel? Mm, I'm just grateful and thankful. And I feel how strong he is now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both their strength and now love on display. And this new family is hoping their story will help save another life. If you have considered being a donor after you pass away, I would ask that you consider to be a donor while you are alive. How do you express gratitude at that highest level yeah. that you possibly can? If you're Mark Coronel, you never stop fighting. There's nothing stopping you now. No, babe, no. We still gotta get married. We gotta do a lot of things. Whew. 
uh, Mark is doing so well. As a transplant recipient, he uh, will take anti-rejection medications for the rest of his life, but he considers those pills like taking candy. He's so happy to do so. Uh, Shauna also recovered well and is free to live her life just as she did, though high-impact sports are not recommended. If you'd like information on how to become a donor, please head to our website. We posted the information there. It's foxla.com. I, I knew it was going to get me. It gets me every time. Yeah.